Silence. Another day, another Russian appears with a name that I can't pronounce. And the media clutches their pearls like a nun eyeing crop tops at Forever 21. Here's the question. Is every Russian now a spy? Is every Muslim now an extremist? Imagine if these people were Muslims. CNN and MSNBC wouldn't know what to do. They'd have to return to fashion the cops. Fact is, the media focuses on certain parts of the story, but not others. They scream about Russians in this meeting while ignoring who let one of them in. It was President Obama's people who allowed a woman with no visa into this country. And then she ends up meeting Donald Trump Jr. That's fishier than the dumpster outside Red Lobster. It reminds me of my favorite soap opera. A passionate affair. A dangerous game of love and corruption. They could have had it all. A Kremlin-connected Russian lawyer who was described to the campaign as a Russian government lawyer ushered into a top-level meeting with the Trump campaign at Trump Tower. Until one man stopped everything. How did the Russian lawyer get into the United States if her, wasn't her visa denied? And she arrived here under President Obama and uncovered a dark secret. Pointing to the idea that this Russian attorney, Natalia Veselnitskaya, got into the country because of the Obama administration. Can their love survive the past? Rachel Maddow, Barack Obama, Natalia Veselnitskaya, with John Stamos as Russia, and introducing Greg Gutfeld as Biff. This is either the end of things, or things are about to get very, very weird. Days of our comrades, weeknights. Nice. All right. Sure, why not? Clap.